today on the program we are going to be doing some smoked meatloaf. If that sounds delicious, then stick around. Hi everybody, it's Sunday and I'm Bob. So you know what that means, it's time for another edition of Bob's Smokin' Sunday. And on the program today, we are gonna be doing a hearty meal. We are gonna be doing smoked meatloaf. That's right. So if that sounds good, come with me inside. We'll show you how we made our meatloaf. We'll show you how we made a glaze for it. Then we'll come back out, we'll get it on the smoker. Have a great dinner. Let's go. All right, so let's get ready to make our meatloaf. Pretty simple recipe today. We have a pound of 80-20 uh, uh, ground beef, so we're gonna put that in there. And we've also got a pound of ground pork. Put that in our bowl as well. Typically I do one egg per pound of meat. So I've got a pound of beef, a pound of pork, so I am going to add two eggs. If you're using a leaner beef, you wanna make sure you use an extra egg. So we'll put that in there half a chopped onion. I'm gonna put that in there. We've got a little Worcestershire sauce. About three quarters of a cup of uh, panko breadcrumbs. You could use Italian breadcrumbs. You could use, um, you know, just regular plain breadcrumbs. You can make your own. Uh, basically the egg and the breadcrumbs will help with the fat in the meat and hold that together. Then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of our salt, pepper, and garlic. Now, it's kosher salt. You wanna make sure you're using a mix with kosher salt uh, as well as uh, black pepper. And I do even parts of salt and pepper. And then um, my garlic, the G that's in there, is going to be half the ratio. Um, some people also add onion powder to this, but I've just got salt, pepper, and garlic in here. So we're gonna, it's about a tablespoon or so. We're gonna pour that in there. And then we're gonna put a little bit of our Bob Smoke and Rub in here, but we're gonna save most of this for the outside. All right, so I've grabbed my gloves um, and I'm just gonna get into this and, and mix this by hand. Get everything all mixed together. Wish you could smell it. The, uh, the onion and, and the seasoning really, really smells amazing. All right, so we'll go ahead and get that in the loaf, but first before I do that, I'm gonna make a couple of small little meatloaf balls, so to speak. My kids love these, and if you're baking these in an oven, it's great just through, just make your little balls, you know, about that size or so. Throw them in a muffin tin, and then uh, put them in the oven 350 for, uh, I don't know, 20 minutes or so till they're about 165 degrees, and those will be great. The kids, the kids love these things. I'll probably make two or three of those, and then the rest is gonna go into my meatloaf. For our next step, we're gonna put the rest of the meatloaf um, in a pan, but you can see I've got some plastic wrap on this. A little trick that I learned um, watching some folks online. When you smoke it in the smoker or cook it on a grill, you wanna make sure that the smoke and the heat can penetrate all the sides of the meatloaf. Well, here's the thing. If you cook it in a loaf pan, that smoke's only gonna hit the top. So we are gonna form our meatloaf in here, and then we're gonna plop it out onto some, uh, some foil. It's gonna get um, smoke and heat on all of the sides. Right now, we're gonna fill this about halfway. We kinda wanna pack that in. What you didn't know is this is gonna be a stuffed meatloaf. I've got some string cheese here. Um, some of my kids' string cheese. We're just gonna kind of put that in the middle. And then we're gonna fill the rest of the pan with the, uh, with the meatloaf. So we're gonna take our loaf pan, place it upside down on the foil. This will come out. We'll take the plastic wrap off. And voila, we've got our meatloaf. So we're gonna get our smoker up to temp. We're gonna smoke about 250 degrees. 
probably for about two and a half hours till our internal temperature is 165 degrees. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start uh, about three quarters of a small chimney of charcoal. I've got these uh, Weber charcoal um, lighter cubes. They work really, really, really well. And you set it underneath your chimney. So we got our chimney with uh, that. We'll take a lighter. We we'll get our flame here. And then uh, basically we just set this over top of it, let it do its thing, about 15 minutes or so, and these uh, coals will be nice and ready for us to put into our charcoal basket. So our smoker has come up to temp. So we're gonna go ahead and get our meatloaf. We're gonna put it on the smoker. So let's go ahead and make our glaze for our meatloaf. So our glaze is gonna be comprised of mainly a uh, ketchup based sauce. So we are going to um, first add ketchup to our bowl. To that, we're going to add a tablespoon or so of spicy mustard. For a little kick, we're going to add um, some Frank's Red Hot, a little Worcestershire sauce, some maple syrup. We're going to jack it up a little bit. When I say jack it up, this is what I mean. So we're going to pour a little bit of Tennessee whiskey in there. And then we are gonna use some of my Bob's barbecue rub. Just gonna sprinkle that on top. And then we're just gonna give that a good whisk. You can really smell that bourbon in there, or that whiskey in there. So the important thing is to give it a little taste. So I like to drizzle that onto my spoon here. And think, hmm, what does it need? It's a little spicy, could use a little more sweet. So you could add a little brown sugar. I'm just gonna add some more of the um, syrup in here. Whisk that around here. The other thing you could use is honey. That's much better. So that's the glaze that we're gonna put on our meatloaf. All right, so it's been about 45 minutes or so. We're gonna check our meatloaf. We are gonna put uh, our first coat of glaze on it as well. So let's open this guy up here. All right, looking good. We're just gonna use a spoon and put that on. So we put our uh, probe into our meatloaf and we are currently running at 131 degrees. So we're gonna let that cook uh, until it gets to about 145. We'll throw another uh, coat of uh, glaze on it. And then uh, when it gets to 160, we will take it off. We've got notification on our thermometer that our meatloaf has reached temperature of 165 degrees. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get that meatloaf off. We're gonna take it inside and let it rest for about uh, 10 minutes or so before we uh, cut it open and eat dinner. Oh yeah. All right, so our meatloaf came out of the smoker and it looks delicious. I mean, look at this right here. So we are gonna cut this guy open real quick and uh, take a look at the inside. Kinda go right here in the middle. I mean, look at that right there. That's beautiful. Bring that up to there. 
going to cut a little piece off here for me to do a taste test. All right, well, here it goes. Hmm. That is good. It's got a nice smoky flavor. So if you like what you see, click that like button, subscribe to my channel on YouTube, and you know what I say, good barbecue isn't all that hard, it just takes a little time. So until next time, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode of Bob's Smokin' Sunday.